Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I want to thank you, Ranking Member Crawford and Chairman DeFazio, for allowing me to speak today on the impact of COVID-19 on Amtrak's workforce. My name is Artie Meritia, National President of the Transportation Communications Union. TCU is the largest union on Amtrak, representing approximately 6,800 workers in the clerical, carmen, supervisory, and other crafts. I'm here on behalf of Amtrak workers to urge Congress and President Trump to act now to preserve our nation's railroad, protect Amtrak workers from getting furloughed, and reauthorize the extension and expansion of RUI benefits so that thousands of railroaders continue to put food on the table. Today, the immediate future of Amtrak's workforce is larger than certain. With the additional funds from the CARES Act drying up, and overall ridership severely reduced compared to last year. Amtrak now stands at the edge of a fiscal cliff. Absence action from Congress October 1st will mark the beginning of severe workforce and service reductions nationwide. This House of Representatives passed their FY21 T-HUD bill, which included 10 billion in operating, capital, and emergency response grants for Amtrak and a requirement to maintain the workforce and route frequencies. On behalf of Amtrak workers, I call on the Senate to pass the House bill and for President Trump to sign it today. The COVID crisis has been a nightmare for all of us, but particularly for the transportation sector. That's why TCU has been outspoken about the size of aid Amtrak would need early on. Last week, Amtrak finally increased their FY21 supplemental request to 2.9 billion, which includes maintaining the workforce and long distance frequencies. Unfortunately, they also began issuing furlough notices to all their crafts in the event Congress doesn't provide adequate funding. And just to be clear, if Amtrak receives no supplemental funding on October 1st, the damage will be catastrophic. According to Amtrak, service cuts would be severe and furloughs would amount to approximately 60% of the workforce. These are the same frontline transportation workers that have been coming in to work day after day during the pandemic at great risk to themselves and their families. Many have contracted the virus some have died. You can understand my frustration and why Amtrak workers are so scared for their future. While many Americans have had the luxury of working from home, these Amtrak workers have been putting their lives on the line to keep our fragile economy moving. Our people have sacrificed and now they're faced with losing their jobs come October 1st. These people need action and they need it now. Unfortunately, if Amtrak workers are indeed furloughed, the CARES Act expansion of railroad unemployment insurance has already expired. So these thousands of railroaders will be immediately thrown into a system that's already in, under immense pressure. President Trump's memo addressing unemployment insurance attempts to provide a $300 expanded benefit for regular state-based unemployment insurance. Unfortunately, President Trump's memo does nothing for railroaders as it fails to include them in the expanded benefit. It doesn't even mention railroad unemployment insurance. And to make matters worse, unlike every other unemployment insurance program in the country, railroad unemployment is unique since it is the only one subject to budget sequestration. This, mean, this means that not only will furlough railroaders not receive the expanded benefits, but the regular RUI checks will be reduced by 6%. This is unfair, and Congress should fix this today. Fortunately, this House of Representatives has once again already paved the way. The HEROES Act included both an extension and expansion of RUI, as well as removing it from sequestration. On both RUI and Amtrak funding, we urge the Senate to follow the House's lead and act now to prevent 
the kind of economic collapse that would occur if our transportation modes and workers are left to wither on the vine. I thank you for the opportunity to testify and I look forward to your questions.